away, but somehow managed to get the ball out. And now, a bit of space for O'Boyle. Good run forward. Bradley comes to get it. Back in to O'Boyle, a chance, and that one has been struck over the bar, and that's three points for Derry. A wonderful score by Danny Hebron. Possession won by Danny Cummins taking on Oshin Duffy. Still Cummins has to check back. Finds O'Curry. O'Curry with an awful long pass all the way back to Liam Silk. That's a good ball inside. Now there's a chance here for Gary Sice. Breaking through. Here's Sice. Oh, and the ball just goes wide. Goal chance for Sice. He scored a cracker against Mayo in the Connacht semi final, but has he been dragged back? The referee has given Galway a free in, and he has been the brightest spark in Galway's performance in this first half. Many of his colleagues really haven't shone, but they do lead by six points to three, and that's five kicked frees now by Gary Sykes. Goldrick, good turn. This is better from Liam McGoldrick. A good, purposeful run. Then the pass, though, is just. A little bit off, and Galway have won the ball back, and now there's a chance. And then a foul off the ball, and it's a free out to Galway. That can be hit on Johnny Duan by Brendan Rogers. Now, some of the card could be interesting here, and it's black. Yeah, I thought so. Off the ball, Brendan Rogers just seemed to drag down Johnny Duan. Here's Chrissy McKay. Heron. To Owen Bradley. A long way out from goal, but maybe he'll try and work something inside nicely. This is better. Heron again. Good ball. Here's Heverin. One point already. That's a fantastic score by Danny Heverin. The point of the match on the man who's playing as a sweeper. Liam Silk. Towards O'Donnell. Now then, chance here for Gareth Bradshaw, and Gareth Bradshaw gets the first point from play that Galway have managed, and it's come a minute and a half into additional time, and Galway go back three points in front again. Danny Hebron, two good points in the first half. And Heverin's effort has gone over the bar. That's three points to his name now. Derry with a good record in the qualifiers. They've won 21 of their 32 games played. And that's two in a minute. And that's a wonderful score from the corner forward. And there's only a point between them. Here's Gareth Bradshaw. Cross towards Liam Silk. All Ireland champions, Cora Finn. Galway lose the ball. They might win it back again, and that's a peach of a pickup. But Sice then it broken across to O'Donnell. Should be a point, and it is a point. Gary O'Donnell gets Galway's second point from play in the match. Here's Danny Heverett in towards O'Donoghue, and it bounces down and it's picked up again by Derry. Chance of a goal, and is that a penalty? No, the referee says no. Derry. Surely thought they deserved something there. Caelan O'Boyle appealing for a penalty. As Galway, they'll come forward with Silk. Good ball inside now to Danny Cummins. Silk follows up the pass. Cummins, though, gives it inside to Liam Silk. Now is there a chance here for Galway? Still Silk back to Danny Cummins, and it's a goal! Cracking goal by Danny Cummins for Galway. Brilliant play set up between himself and Liam Silk. And Galway have half a foot and run four of the qualifiers. Well, is that the turning point? Liam Silk followed up the attack into Danny Cummins. What a finish off the crossbar. Well, here's the incident a moment ago. Johnny Duan had it, lost possession. And well, was there much in it? Finney and Handy will say there wasn't. The ball went up the pitch. Silk bed Cummins, what a finish.
30 seconds to go. Can Derry do something right at the end? Trying to work the ball inside. It was scored by Neil Forrester, and it was their first score in half an hour. Well, the referee, Connor Lane, has the whistle in his mouth, telling the goalkeeper to pump it out and blows the final whistle, and Galway are through to round 4B of the qualifiers. They've defeated Derry, and the turning point was that goal by Danny Cummins in the 62nd minute. Final score in Pierce Stadium. Galway, 1-11. Derry, 8 points. We had brought it back, I think, La point at the start of the second half and still in loads of time, and we proceeded to, to miss what were very scorable opportunities. But the other side of it, like when, when we were right back in the match again, six-point turnaround with what a scandalous decision on, on, on the penalty. It goes straight to the other end of the field goal, we score their goal. And like I think, what, eight, eight frees in the first half, uh, eight points in the first half for Galway and seven of them frees. You know, the, the, some of the frees were absolutely ridiculous at, at county senior level. Look, we, we, we got the victory, but I think what's important here is that we start to, to learn how to, how to hold a, a structure and a system and that fellas like you said, Dylan Martin, like they actually work hard and work hard and keep working hard. And I think the boys done fairly well today. Yeah, they did. Kevin McStay, it's a big, big win for Galway and moves them on. But mm. what did you make of the match? Well, first, can I say the conditions were shocking, and they were. Now, that's in mitigation for the performance they came after. It was a really, really poor game. Um, very hard that to play football. That doesn't mean it's a bad performance, though. Poor game, uh, you know. Well, it, it, it was. The, the, the basic skills of the game, mm. uh, the fouling, constant fouling that was going on in the game, the indiscipline that Derry showed on many occasions, uh, and we'll come back to that, I'm sure. Um, just it was a stop start affair. Uh, you asked me what yeah. sort of a game it was, Des. It was a poor, poor game. Yeah. Desi, you, you feel Galway are getting a bit more streetwise, more savvy. And they are, yeah. Um, you always think of Galway as the aristocrats of football, you know, the likes of Jaff Allen and Porrick Joyce and Michael Donnan. Great forwards, great players. But Kevin Walsh is adding a bit of steel. They're playing a bit on the edge. And he said it himself in the interview there, he's introduced a system of play and they're playing to that system. And you can see here. Plenty of men back. We must, we sat and Kevin were just saying it's not the nicest style of football, and I'm, I'm sure it, it doesn't sit well with a lot of Galway supporters. But putting a lot of men back, and you know, dirty, careless kick there again, set up very well, Galway. And this is what they're doing. You see a line of defenders across the middle, and that's the first line of defence. And then if you look at the two boys sweepers, that's the second line. So it's very, very difficult for Dury to break them down. And they did get some good scores in the first half. They did work hard from again a quick counter attack, and to have the man back, sweeper back there sitting pretty ball comes in big high ball but there are plenty of numbers back in here and this is the thing like Galway are known for going out and playing great football and maybe losing games but in this situation plenty of numbers back and this is the thing that I like I suppose not like but this is great cleverness here Michael Lundy fouling out in the halfway line generally you get away with it there's no black cards for things like this there's no ticks in these situations but these are fouls that is allowing the Galway players get plenty of men back and clogging up the system and Kevin Walsh He's a nice guy, you know him well. I went on a trip with him before, but he'd be... <laughs> 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 the reason, the reason, the reason, the reason I like him, the reason I like him is because myself and Declan Brown were buying a camera, and we were under a bit of pressure. It was going a bit dodgy, and he came in and saved the day. Yeah, pity he didn't get you to buy a suit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's My granddad's from Galway. <laughs> I'm going with that one. All right, all right. So we've established that a bit. Jim, what about... The change in momentum. You said there was kind of one key moment in your view, Eamon, yeah. that swung it in the second half. Yeah, and I suppose that it was Galway, Galway were in control again, particularly in the first half. But in the second half, Derry came back and, and fought really, really hard. And they got, they got within two points. These are the two scores that they got. Worked them really, really hard. Owen Bradley and Benny Hearn kicked two wonderful scores. And momentum was on, the, was on their, their side. side yeah. Now... Brian McIver alluded to it here, they had chances here. This was a bit of wild shooting where they probably should have scored. That would have been, if they got those two, that would have made them a point up. Now, in that same period of time, Galway actually had two wides. But this, this call here, for me, changed. It completely swung it. Now, I thought that was a harsh free, to be quite honest. Now, Danny Cummins is a light little guy. He was fighting very, very hard, but there's numbers there, and it seemed to spill the ball. This was kicked, yeah. and it put Galway and, uh, two, back, two up. And from the resulting kickout, now Derry did have time to clear it, but from the resulting kickout, they get another score to make it three points. Yeah. And I think for me, mentally, it affected Derry yeah. so much. Now, 30 minutes went by, and Derry didn't score after that. It was scored in injury time. And mm. for me, 
we talk about small little incidents mm. in, in games and referees' decisions, and it might mean nothing. That decision, to me, completely swung it back in Galway's favour. It gave them a lift. It, it, it gave Derry a dent. Now, Derry, if you're a serious team, you, you have to be able to overcome those type of, of, of mental things. But for me, it just turned the momentum away from Derry, who started very, very brightly in the second half and just gave it to Galway. And credit to Galway, they fought harder. They were much more eager for the ball. And there was ill discipline on Derry's behalf. But you could see the frustrations mm. when, it, when, the, when they could see the game was slipping away from them. And we saw the frustration from Brian McIver, mm. who quit and said he couldn't put up with a refereeing performance like that. There were several other controversial talking points. Mm. Take us through them, Kevin. Well, look, they, they were the author of a lot of them themselves. Very well. Yeah, they were. They, like, their tackling was not clever in the conditions. We could argue over, like, it was nine of the Galway points came from freeze, nine out of 11 the, mm. of the Galway scores. Mm. Um, the first yeah, but one of them was, was hard. He said, yeah, was well, and, and there was a few of them harsh, but yeah. like, they didn't, I'll, I'll talk about them not helping themselves later on because with dissent, they got the ball moved up. But this is the first big controversy, the, um, black, the black card yeah. incident and Brendan Rodgers' um, removal from the field. Now, I, I can't see what that's for. We're told that there was a hand trip involved. Um, Just here should have been a free. That, that should have been, been a free out, for yeah. sure. Um, but it's for this incident. Yeah, it's no we, trip there. we kind of think he maybe tripped himself. Do, well, do we? Or? You could see that. You could see that the cornerback actually just tripped himself. Johnny Dwan. No, Johnny Dwan. Yeah. And yeah. Well, Brendan Rodgers is Rogers, the big loser in it. Yeah, Brendan Rogers. There was limited it's a bad contact. Call. Yeah. It was. It was. Yeah, I, I, that is a bad. It call. was feather contact. If there was anything. Yeah. And he called it. Now, yeah. this is the second one, Kevin. Yeah, well, the, the, this is, um, to me, this is not a good call again. Um, not a great hand pass across, and we'll go into the detail on the slow-mo. Um, the hand pass overshoots the runway a bit, but Finian yeah. Hanley is all over him there, um, the, Quaylen O'Boyle. Like, he is at 6 foot 5 going to get that tap in with his left or his right, but he's not allowed to launch himself, as it were. Yeah. And uh, he, so he, he That's the fall. start of the move, he's ah, yeah, You all yeah. think that was a penalty, yeah. didn't yeah. And yeah. This, look what came from it, Des. Going seven passes later, Danny Cummins full of running and he just buries it into the back of the net and it's a massive, huge momentum it's a massive swing again. Six but, points. But if you all agree, no, with, I think I personally I think uh, I think Derry were hard done by.